Welcome to Country Car, my name's Tom. Here we have a lovely BMW X5. This is the X Drive, so it's four wheel drive. Three litre M Sport. I'm going to give you a walk around the car, show a few of the features and general condition of the car. As you can see, we've got reversing sensors, privacy glass, lovely BMW alloys. Car does about 34. 0.4 miles to the gallon. Pretty good for a big car. Gorgeous headlights. Front parking sensors as well. We've also got the graphic on there to show you exactly where you are. So if we start from the boot, we see that it's a split tailgate. You can just leave it like that or alternatively pull this latch here and it will open this bottom section as well showing a very sizable boot with a rear load cover floor mats you get extra storage under there and you've also got your uh, detachable tow bar in here with a first aid kit the rear seats also fold down as well giving you even more room and there's a 12 volt inlet just there so it's got lovely soft black leather trim. Your passengers are treated with a centre armrest. Like so. Let's have a little step in the car. Have a look, see what's what. So, the car's telling me off, leaving the lights on. Just going to start the car, I'll do that by inserting the key there and then holding onto the start button with my foot on the brake. Exact mileage then is 104, 325. This is an automatic, so to work this, there's a little unlock button there. So you squeeze that and then pull down and it'll go into drive. At that stage you can just drive it as normally, a normal automatic, or you can knock it over, that'll put it into manual or sports mode so you can change the gear as you see fit um, or if you just knock it over it will then put it in sports mode which will just hold on to the gears for a bit longer uh, but will still be in automatic it's only when you actually start doing it yourself that it will then go to manual pop it back in park handbrake here we've got auto hold that means is if you get to uh, traffic lights and you're in drive instead of the car rolling forward which it normally would it will hold it there with the hold handbrake until you use your accelerator and then it will automatically release the brake and allow you to go alternatively you can just pull up there and that will put the handbrake on as you can see there with that P and then to take it off as you normally would with the handbrake you go down so it goes off Everything's controlled on the media interface by this, so you've got some shortcuts there, telephone, navigation, radio, CD. It's currently on the Bluetooth setting, so it wants to find some devices. We press navigation, we can have a look at that. Good thing about BMW is they give you nice readouts exactly how you're doing, including a journey computer. Good way to go, it lets you know if you've got a certain route to work for example go the motorway or you prefer the urban roads it lets you work that out between times see how fast you get there see how economical one is to the other vehicle status we've got tyre uh, monitoring system because they're run flats also gives you an oil readout and then there's other service information in there to tell you pads are all in order etc so it's got multifunctional steering wheel, automatic wipers, automatic headlights, so you just flick it away, then you've got your front and your rear fogs, and when you're on that all you need to do really is just worry about your main beams. You've also got some extra information on this BC, it tells you about your miles per gallon and various other things, your average speed etc. Got electric folding side mirrors, 
automatic dimming rear view mirror. You've got an SOS button there as well. So it opens up and then if you were to press that again it would phone the emergency services. Electric windows, there's also a window lock function there for the kids. You've got a 6 CD changer and the owner's pack is in there as well. You've also got dual zone air conditioning with heated seats. Front and rear heated screen settings and as I mentioned the air conditioning is all working from that as well. I can adjust the driver's seat electronically, I can also adjust the passenger seat electronically on the other side and I've also got two stage memory seats as well. The centre armrest shows an auxiliary port just underneath this as well, which is quite a handy thing to have. There it is. And then this also lifts up, giving you even more room, or you can insert a phone into that if you wanted to. Most people just use the Bluetooth. So to lift the bonnet, there's a catch just here, pull it towards you, that releases the bonnet. But there's also a safety catch on there as well to make sure it doesn't fly up if you're driving, which is normally around about the middle of these lovely grills. Very clean engine. The car's had a 160 point check. I'll say that again, 160 point check already. Roof rails. Then after sale it'll go back, we'll have another 160 point check. If there was an MOT due, we'd get that organised. It's a third party company that does it for us. Give it a full fallot for you again. We give you three months or a thousand mile full parts and labour warranty standard, which you can extend up to four years at 300 or 500 pound a year, depending on the level of cover you wish to take out. If you've got a part exchange, give us a call. We can get that organised got very competitive finance rates. These don't hang around for long so I would get calling. Don't hang about too long. And number 01926 267813. My name's Tom, my father's called Kevin. I'm not just saying that because I'm proud of him, he's the other sales guy here. We're located in Barford which is in Warwick and hopefully we'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much.